So welcome to Twitter Think, and this is example number one for complex numbers. I'll be taking other examples under this topic, and I have done an introduction for complex numbers. Introduction part one, talking about um, addition and subtraction of complex numbers, and then the part two talks about multiplication and division. So you can go through my channel, open the playlist Engineering Maths 2 to locate these videos, go over them before we tackle this example. So here we have Z1 giving us 2 plus 4i and Z2 giving us 3 minus i and we are told to um, add both of them. So to add the sum of these two results will give us 2 plus 4i adding to 3 minus i. So when we add this, we can say that this is 2 plus 4i plus 3 minus i and we add all real terms giving us this plus this is going to give us um, 2 plus 3 plus 4i minus i so this plus this is giving us 5 plus 3i and we have z1 plus z2 giving us this so let's finish the second example. So we have z1 times z2 here, the product of the two functions. So we are getting 2 plus 4i multiplying 3 minus i. So we will just expand the brackets. We expand this and this. We use everything here to multiply whatever we have here. So this is giving us 2 times 3 will give us 6. 2 times negative i will give us minus 2i and then 4i times this will give us plus 12i then 4 times this is giving us a minus 4i square note that we have i here i here when they multiply is i square but in the introduction we learned that i square is the same as um, negative 1 so i square equals negative 1 so therefore we can substitute this into the result to give us 6 minus um, 2i plus 12i then negative here will be negative times negative will give us plus 4 and then we can add the result for all reals so this is giving us 6 plus 4 and then um, plus 12 minus 2 I, I just did factorization there is no need for you to do that you can just simplify straight forward so this is giving us 10 plus when you subtract this from this we have 10 I so the result for Z1 Z2 is this and now let's take the third question we have Z1 minus Z2 so we have 2 plus 4 I minus Put everything into brackets we have 3 minus i now note that this negative affects everything in this bracket so the result is going to give us 2 plus 4i minus 3 plus i then we can group like terms all reals and all imaginary so we have 2 minus 3 then plus 4i plus i so this is giving us negative 1 plus 5i and we have here z1 minus z2 giving us this result so that is it for the subtraction and finally the third question said we should divide z1 by z2 so we have um, i mean, giving us z1 over z2 so this is giving us 2 plus 4i all over 3 minus i now note that for division in the introduction we learned that we take the conjugate of the denominator or the conjugate of the whole thing by taking the conjugate of this change the sign here to positive use it to multiply the whole result so let me just write it the conjugate of z2 is giving me z2 bar being equal to 3 plus i 
So this result, use it to multiply this and this. Remember that if this side is positive, or if this side is positive, you take the conjugate to be negative, and if it is negative, it will be positive. So we have z1 out of z2 going to give us 2 plus 4i multiplying the conjugate, which is 3 plus i. You divide the whole result by 3 minus i multiplying the same conjugate, which is 3 plus i. So now you expand all the numerators, expand all denominators. So this is giving us 2 times 3, giving us 6. 2 times this, giving us plus 2i. This time this giving us plus 12i. Then this time this giving us plus 4i squared i times i we divide this by 3 3 giving us 9 3 times i giving us plus 3i then negative i times this minus 3i this time this giving us minus i squared so we have here um we can now introduce what we call the negative one we know that i squared equals to negative one so we substitute it inside, so we have 6 plus um, 2i plus 12i and then when we put negative 1 here we are getting minus 4 and then divide this result by 9 plus 3i minus 3i plus 1. So negative 1 will replace this when we multiply by this we are getting plus 1. So now we can then simplify the result. This is giving us 6 minus 4, so we have 6 minus 4, and um, we have plus 2 plus 12 i, because they have the same i. There's no need for you to do this step, you can just move straight forward. This will cancel this, because they are negative and positive, so we have 9 plus 1 giving us 10. So when we continue this, we are getting 2 here. And this is giving us plus 14i all divided by 10. So we can simplify this by saying z1 out of z2 is going to give us 2 out of 10 plus 14i out of 10. You can break this down by saying this will give us um, 1 out of 5 plus um, 2 here. We have 7 out of 5. I. So this is Z1 over Z2. And this is our final result. So this is it for this example. I'll be taking other examples. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do. My name is Daniel and I hope this video has been helpful.